got some In-N-Out Burger. We don't have that in Arkansas, so if I get the chance, I usually pick some up. I am down here in Texas uh, for the second event of the FLW Tour. Today, uh, it's actually early. I came down here to hang out with uh, one of my old fraternity brothers, um, Nick. He has a, a place down here. And uh, so I thought I'd come down and fish. Uh, there's a little lake. It's two lakes up from Travis. It's a LBJ, Lyndon B. Uh, whatever, Johnson, some president. Um, Lyndon B. Johnson, Lyndon, Lyndon, Lyndon. We'll go with Lyndon. Um, it was pretty good. I had fun today. I had some really good stuff, some really good uh, footage of some fish catches. Had about 20 ish pounds today, which is, you know, if you roll up, I don't care where you are. You roll up, just go and catch 20 pounds. Hey, that's a good day in my books. I'll never complain about that ever. Uh, so I had a lot of fun or anything. Hopefully I got clued in. Most of them are a lot different. I have, LBJ has a lot, had a lot of hydrilla in it, which not gonna lie, when I rolled up and saw freaking hydrilla after my sorry performance at Lake Gunnersville, oh my gosh, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a terrible day. But um, scrapped around and ended up catching them pretty good. So I was happy with it. Um, Nick's going out. They're actually opening a new field and stream store up um, here in uh, Cedar, where am I? Cedar Park. And so I went and took a walk through that. That's pretty cool. It's a Dix and um, Field and Stream all together, all in one. It's actually really cool. So uh, if you're down in the area, check that out. But we're going to go tomorrow. Um, this is our second event. Lake Travis, give you all a little rundown on what's going on with it. So I'm sorry if the light's not perfect, guys. Uh, I've been. I'm, get, I'm gonna get the Lake Guntersville stuff up. I promise I'm gonna get all that uh, tournament stuff up real soon. It's just time wise, I just haven't had a ton of time with to go and I was only home for two nights between Guntersville and here. But uh, so here's what's going on with Travis. Uh, haven't practiced on it yet, but just doing research. Up for like eight years, it was super low, like 20 foot low. Last year it came back up. So there's all kinds of new vegetation in the water, you know, bushes and stuff that have grown up. Um, last weekend in bass champs i think it was it took like 28 pounds to win but it went down it's like 28 20 18 18 16 you know it went down pretty quick it's notorious for fish to moving on you uh, and it's notorious for small fish but we'll see everybody's saying we're really gonna be surprised um we got a full moon right now some eight degree days there's a chance we're gonna be looking at them i guarantee somebody will probably look at them i don't know how well they're gonna get up there it is still february i know we're in texas but it's still february so we'll see. I, I prefer not for it to be a full-out bed fishing tournament, but you know, you kind of fish whatever hand you're dealt. So we'll see there. Um, I always kind of have a question for y'all, and my question for y'all who have done, who keep up with the tour and do your own research, I want to know what y'all think it's going to take to one, make the top 20 cut, and two, what's winning weight? Now remember. Even though people are saying this is, you know, oh, it's fishing really good, it's fishing really good, which I'm sure it is. Remember that you got to put together for four days in a row, sitting in a one-day derby. So I want to know what y'all want to, what y'all think it's going to take to make the top 20 cut to fish on Saturday, and then to make the um, to win the thing. I don't really have a. I'm going to say I'm going to say 16 a day to win. Fluff. Goodness, I don't know. It kind of puts me in a pickle. 16 a day, 16 a day to win. 14 a day, 14 a day to make the cut. I think it's gonna be super tight like that. I really do. I think it's gonna be way should be stacked together. So let me know. Comment below. Please subscribe, and I will have a tackle tip Tuesday for you next Tuesday. Already got that queued up, um, and then some updates over on my Facebook page as well. So yeah, comment, subscribe, and I'll get back to y'all later. See you.